Thank you, Mr. Peterson. Cadet Pamela Wilford, 1C Cadet, graduating cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration, will now speak on behalf of the cadets class of 2018. Cadet Wilford, please come to the podium. Hello, good afternoon. Let's see here. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, family and friends, faculty and staff, students and cadets. Thank you for this opportunity. It is truly a pleasure to be here speaking to you today. Just in case you haven't realized it yet, the folks sitting in front of you are my esteemed classmates and peers, the graduating class of 2018. For those sitting in the back, I'd like to describe this view. Looking at the class of 2018, I see many things. Some of you are eagerly waiting to walk across this stage. Some of you look like you wish this was over already. Some of you are laughing at me, and most of you want me to get on with my point. <laughs> Sitting in front of me, I see a community that is more tightly knit than most would believe possible on a college campus. I see limitless ingenuity and potential. It may have felt endless. It may have felt impossible. I am sure that many of us had times where we wondered if we would make it to this stage, times where we weren't sure we would accomplish all that we set out to do. Well, congratulations. After many late nights, early mornings, long summers, and endless weeks, you have finally made it. I know that whether we ended strong or checked out right after Coasties, we have all been looking forward to today. This is the culmination of years of effort. This is the last time you will be a cadet at Cal Maritime. If you are like me, as soon as you'll finish here, you will head home and check the mail, eagerly waiting for what is probably the most expensive piece of paper you will ever receive. <laughs> Let's be honest. At the end of the day, a diploma is a piece of paper. It doesn't guarantee that you'll go on to do great things. Receiving a diploma? doesn't magically make you smarter. However, if you don't value it, no one else will either. If you've come out of four plus years of schooling and still feel that all you've received is an expensive piece of paper, first, I'm sorry you feel that way. It must be really disappointing. <laughs> Second, you're not alone. And third, this is the important part, you're wrong. To be totally honest, when writing the speech, I was having a hard time putting my finger on what exactly I had learned here. I felt discouraged because even though I had taken all my classes, even though I'd kept really good grades, even though I was involved in campus leadership, it still felt like I was just about to receive an expensive piece of paper. I didn't feel like I was really about to graduate. I was waiting for someone to tell me, you're ready. I was waiting for a moment that I didn't realize had been happening again and again since I came to Maritime. If there is anyone still waiting, let me tell you, you are ready. If you don't think that you're ready, please allow me to take this time to convince you. Four years ago, you arrived here. You left your homes and your families to begin your journey with Maritime. Many families remember move-in day when, after spending 18 years raising your children, teaching them everything you could, you were expected to wave them off and hope for the best. To all the families out here today, thank you for giving us the opportunity to come here. Thank you for giving us the chance to succeed. Once you said your goodbyes, you began orientation week. You were guided to the pool, but we threw you in the deep end. Your courses started and you met professors that would be guiding you for the next four years. Look to your left, now look to your right. The people who are sitting here today have been through thick and thin with you. They completed the first year with you and together you proved that you were ready. Now, that first summer was for our Deccan Engine students, freshman cruise. I have never had the pleasure of going on cruise, but from what I hear, it is amazing, then awful, then amazing again. Your first time out at sea experiencing 
uh, staying on board for weeks at a time, your first time experiencing the glory that is lower birthing, bless your souls. <laughs> Working with your peers and your upperclassmen, you gained hands-on experience. At every port, you gained some new knowledge of the world, or, at the very least, learned the value of a shoulder to lean on when rushing back up the gangway at 11.59 p.m. <laughs> on returning home, you told your stories to your peers in NPM, and yes, we were extremely jealous. You completed your first cruise and proved that you were ready. Beginning your second year, your ranks had thinned. Rather than just surviving, it was time to thrive. Your classes became more challenging, and your days seemed to become shorter. Things were moving faster. Midterms snuck up, and so did deadlines for countless projects and essays. You completed your second year, advanced in class, and proved that you were ready. In your second summer, Deccan Engine students were sent out on commercial crews. While the competition to have top pick was fierce, no matter who you sailed with, you gained experience working in the industry and put to use what you had learned over the past two years. You completed your second cruise and proved that you were ready. Now, it was the NPM students' turn to become globetrotters. Rather than going on a cruise, you skipped a long voyage and boarded a plane. You toured port facilities, researched global sustainability efforts, visited large corporations, and learned about the culture in places that you hoped to someday work. You ate great food, learned to communicate regardless of language, navigated crowded public transportation, and made memories that will last a lifetime. You completed an international experience and proved that you were ready. Entering your third year, you were finally considered upperclassmen. This was, for many of you, the point of no return. Your courses from there out would be specialized enough that transferring, even within the CSU, would become a challenge. <laughs> During this time, you also gained many peers who are with you today, transfer students who took an ungodly number of units every semester. And, woo! And who brought a refreshing breath into your classes here at Maritime. Everything that you learned was beginning to become more tangible, less about that fancy piece of paper and more important for your careers. You completed your third year and proved that you were ready. In your third summer, Deccan Engine students returned to the Golden Bear as upperclassmen, bringing knowledge from three years of coursework and experience from your previous cruises to guide and train your underclassmen. During your third and final cruise, you were given the reins. For NPM students, after months of searching many applications and interviews, you secured internships. The variety of internships that students held was stunning. Many of our students worked in government offices, ports, and Fortune 500 companies. You took initiative applying the skills you've learned into your work for the summer. You completed cruise and co-ops and proved that you were ready. Finally, you entered your senior year. This year required you to pull from all that you have learned over three years. Many of you took Coast Guard exams, completed capstone courses, labored on senior projects, and some of you ground through a 40-page thesis. You have pushed yourselves to learn more and to apply that learning to create something of value. You have been constantly working towards your futures, and now you have arrived here at this stage. During your time here at Maritime, your skills were constantly being used and tested. You were being assessed to see if you were ready. As you walk across the stage, you will officially be graduates of the California State University Maritime Academy. Say that five times fast. Even if you weren't going to be given your fancy piece of paper, you have already received the fruits of your labor. You have already completed your journey together you have already been given knowledge, experience, and a community that will follow you well into your futures. You have been inspired to do something great, not because of a fancy piece of paper, but because you have been doing great things since the moment you set foot on this campus. You have worked hard for years, and now is the time to celebrate. I no longer wonder if it was worth it. I know that given the opportunity, I would make the same choice again and again. I know that we have been prepared for life. I know that we have been prepared to enter an industry of limitless opportunities. I know that we will do great things. I know that we are ready. Thank you.
Well, thank you, Christopher. Thank you, Pam. I know I speak for the entire Cal Maritime community in thanking you for very thoughtful words. And I know you've made your families proud. 